Good afternoon, and thank you very much, everybody, for joining us in this amazing, powerful, and educational lunch and learn. Right here, this is your host, Patricia Houston, and with me is Dan Metzer. Dan is from Samaritan Inc., and you're more than welcome to take the lead in this presentation. Hi, everybody. My name is Dawn Metzger. I'm from uh, Samaritan Inn. Um, we are located in Sussex County, New Jersey. Uh, the town is Newton. Um, so Samaritan Inn has been here since uh, 1977. Uh, we have three houses that we own in Newton. Um, the first house has six private apartments. The second house has five private apartments. And the third house, which we just added as of last year, has three private apartments. So our program is geared towards families that are homeless. Um, they can come, they stay in their own private apartment. It's fully furnished. Um, they're here for usually an average of three months, um, you know, four months is kind of what the average length of stay is for us with families. Um, in that time frame, they have to put 65% of their income that they earn into an escrow account, which we hold, and then we give that money back to them at the end of their stay. Um, usually, you know, we have families that. I mean, we've written checks out for six, seven thousand dollars, you know, knock yourselves out at that point because it's just money that stays in an escrow and then it goes right back to them. Um, the first hundred dollars is considered security deposit. Today, I don't know what a hundred dollars actually really pays for anymore, but um, you know, it is is still the same as 45 years ago, and uh, we haven't changed it. So it works for us. Um we will um have at the shelter, we can have uh, adults with children, single moms with children, couples without children, or single females um, is our population is what we serve. Um, they are, you know, expected to get a job within 48 hours. Um, we do help them to get jobs. Um, you know, if there's, you know, daycare needed, schooling needed, like whatever those resources are that that cl client needs, um, we will help to get them set up with all of that. They'll hook them up with um, social services as well. Um, and, you know, at that point, just get, you know, kind of the um, housing first model, which is the wrap services around a client uh, in place. Um, that's uh, one program we have. The next programs we have is the food pantry program. And the food pantry is open for um, families or individuals Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from two to four. A family or, or somebody can come usually once a month is when you're allowed to come. Um, but if you're living in the shelter, you're allowed to use the food pantry once a week. So then like any extra money that you would have used towards purchasing food or anything like that, it goes towards your housing, which is in your escrow account that we encourage you to deposit that into, um, to always be saving towards your housing. Um, we also have a case management program that we provide. So if somebody calls in and they're in need of services, and maybe we aren't the appropriate ones, but we will refer and explain to them what services are available to them and where to go and, and how to access those services. Um, we also have a program called um, HPRP, which is the housing, um, rapid rehousing uh, homeless prevention program. Um, that actually is ending, I believe in September um, is ending this year, but that program, um, we actually help clients and pay for their rent. Um, we're ending, uh, I think July next month is kind of the wrap up. Um, but then we have a, another piece of it, which is COVID, which will go to September. But you basically pay for the rent um, for people for, you know, that time frame, help them get on their feet, um, help them access resources, whether it be, you know, food pantries or whatever those resources are to be able to help them to have the means to be able to meet um, their income guidelines that's required for them to be on their own self-sufficiently. I'm trying to think what else do we have here? 
I know that, um, uh, that you guys are doing an amazing job in there, but I also would like if you can uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself, because I know that you are the director for Samaritan Inn. So I want to make sure that people uh, know who you are. And since you guys have also a lot of resources, I just want to clarify that today is just an overview. Don's being really busy. I'm very appreciative of your time. So I want to make sure that people understand that any information that they need or additional information that they need, all the content information, website, and everything is going to be in the description below of the video. So Don, tell us a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind. So, yeah, no, no problem. Um, I'm Dawn Metzger. I've been the director of Samaritan Inn for uh, 15 years. Um, I am a licensed social worker in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Um, I've been, you know, very, very successful in uh, Samaritan Inn and working here and growing the program. Um, you know, when I first started, it was, um, you know, only the two houses. And over the over the years, we've expanded. We've added apartments. We've added an office building. We've added um, different programs that actually have come and gone with COVID. At this point, um, which I'm sure is everybody else's um, story as well with COVID, but um, you know, overall we've we've grown we've grown a lot in the last um, 15 years, and uh, I was just um, a grandma actually two weeks ago. So, <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I said I'm too young to be a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, we're it's it's very very successful. You know, I I know you're going to show up on our, our our website, which on our website shows like a lot of the statistics, because um, we usually serve about a hundred people, um, and on average, just through our uh, shelter a year, um, we have a ninety five percent success rate. Um, I think this year's a ninety five. Last year was eighty eight percent success rate, which is excellent um, in having people go to permanent housing and not returning to homelessness um, over two year period. HUD says you're successful after six months. We you know, believe you're more successful after, after six months, like up to two years is realistically when you're you know, out of your homelessness cycle is how we say it. Um, you know, we, have, uh, we, have, we have grown with, with the community, honestly. I mean, you know, if something's, missing we'll you know try to fill that void and help people and get um, whatever resources it is um, in place for for families you know at times not all the time but at times we've been able to help families get cars um, you know be able to get back and forth to work um, you know there's uh they're, you know, the apartments are, are beautiful, actually. I don't know. I'm in one. If you want, I could show you one real quick. Well, please. Yeah, thank you. All right, how do I flip you around? And also, uh, and I also want to remind everybody that we're going to share the screen also uh, to go over uh, the website so like that people can see. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, can we just do it that way? Of course. Yeah, yes, please. Look, it's beautiful. Yeah, so we can see. That's your door that you come in. This is your your kitchen, very small little kitchen, if you can kind of see it, right? And then, hold on, we go around. So there's two bedrooms in this apartment. This is the one, one bedroom. Can you see that? Yes, yes, and thank you very much for showing the apartment. And then this is the second bedroom. So we have bunk beds because we literally will pack as many people as we can into the bedrooms. <laughs> beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. If I was homeless, I think I'd be, I'd be okay. And then you have the obviously the bathroom, but yeah, they're just small apartments. We don't have um, living rooms because we use that as obviously bedrooms, um, but. Yeah, families um do do very well while they're here. And Don, thank you very much for showing us the apartment. That was a plus. I was expecting seeing the, the whole apartment, but thank you. 
So Don, do you want me to share the screen so people can see in the website everything that you guys have? Because I know in the website there is additional information. Yes, please. All right. I'm going to show my screen. So just give me one second. And I have it right here. And Don is going to walk us through uh, where, where we are here. So right here is the website. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Samaritan Inn, um, for 2022, we had 27,000 pounds of food distributed and almost 9,000 nights of shelter, which is, um, which is a lot of, a lot of shelter for our families. Um, I don't know if you go to probably a, uh, a get help. Yeah, we could do that one. Um, that one will show you that we also, um, operate a 24 hour hotline. So after everybody goes home after 4.30, um, we are still here. That's our emergency hotline, um, which will be able to help. We can help and put people into a motel room for the night um, or you know, for the weekend until they can get into social services um, and help them uh, get housing. In here, so in here, they can see all the contact information as well. And then if they yeah. go here uh, in the program, Tell us a little about this. Um... There's the, shell, the emergency 24 hour hotline. Um, our food pantry, which I, I talked about, was open Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, two to four. Um, you know, you just uh, have to come once a month. Um, we do have a holiday dinner and gift program. So if somebody's in need of um, holiday, you know, dinners for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any gifts, depending upon our um, donations, you know, we can kind of help with that. Uh, community case management. If uh, somebody's in need of services, you know they can call us, and we will direct them on on what's available or what resources are out there for them. The family shelter program. I just showed you around to the apartment, um, and then, like I said, it's we have a total of fourteen apartments that are fully furnished. So at any given time, if you're homeless, I mean, I I think I'd be safe here. Now we are going to get involved. There we go. Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers to help us with, um, you know, different things throughout the year. We have fundraising that we do. Um, we have one in the spring, which is the tricky tray that we do and, um, you know, helping with making baskets and things like that. Um, we have a fall um, fundraiser that we do, which is Grape Expectations, which is a wine tasting event. Um, this year, I believe it's on September 9th. I think it, it's a Sunday. It's always a Sunday, but um yeah, so if anybody is in need of um, wanting to help with fundraising, those are always great events to help with. Um, about us is probably our stats, which shows you, that's our office. So we got that for a dollar that was donated to us. Oh, that's um, so yeah, it was a church, uh, Harmony Hill Church, um, but uh, that's where we run our office. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you know, we're dedicated to meet the needs of homeless families. You know, obviously our goal is always to put us out of a job. Um, and here there is a how to donate and then you guys can click right here. Yeah, yeah you can click there if you'd like to donate. Um, it goes through PayPal. Um, and then here. Yeah, um, preserve the dignity, relieve human suffering, offer sanctuary to the homeless and alleviate hopelessness. Um, you know, a lot of people, they don't wake up that morning and say, I'm gonna be homeless today. So, you know, in the past few years, those are statistics. You know, we did almost 9,000 nights of uh, 2022 for 46 families, which is 124 individuals, 59 adults and 65 children. Um, usually children always outweigh us um, in the numbers, there's always more children than adults. Um, and the average age that is at Samaritan Inn is seven years old. So for a seven year old, that's usually the average age of the clientele that we serve. Um, the food pantry, we do a lot more clients, obviously in the food pantry, over a thousand clients come um, to the food pantry. And those are just like helpful links. Like if you, obviously, if you're fleeing from domestic violence, we're not the place, um, but we will refer you to DAISY, um, which is one of our sister programs. 
Um, we'll also refer you to Partnership for Social Services. And, uh, you know, if you need uh, DNA issues or drug and alcohol issues, Center for Prevention and Counseling, um, you know, or Sussex County Social Services, you know, um, things like that. Um, actually, DAISY was um, one of our sister programs in that years ago um, when Samaritan and Wonders originated, some of the clients that were coming to us had domestic abuse issues. And the board of directors um, actually then decided to split. Um, so DAISY used to stand for Domestic Abuse of Samaritan Inn before the board of directors had split and then it was changed to the domestic abuse of um, sexual intervention um, services. So it, it was um, a part of Samaritan Inn many moons ago and we still hold that bond with Davey, Daisy and we do work together very closely still today. Wonderful. And in here, we're going to also share again the contact information or how they can get in contact. So right yeah. here is the 973-940-8872. Yeah. Uh, they can also reach out to you guys uh, through email or the email and contact information is in the website. I also sure. added in the chat the link to the website. And I'm going to stop sharing. Um, anything else then that you would like to share with us today before we conclude? Uh, no, but I did see the chat comment in the 80s, which is pretty surprising. Not many people do know that story or know that history behind uh, Samaritan Inn, so I'm impressed with that person whoever did that, but thank you. There we go. And with that, um, I just want to thank you, Dan, again, especially taking in consideration that you are being, you know, really busy and everything. So thank you very much for um, taking time to do this presentation. Mm -hmm. With You're that... Welcome. With that, we're gonna move to our Q&A session. That part is not recorded. I also want to remind everybody that family partners provide services to families with special need children or children with challenges in general. I will add a link to the website. And if you have any questions or anything, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Thank you very much. And now we're gonna move to our Q&A session. Thank you. <laughs>